All right, 24 minutes before 11 o'clock. It's a little more musical at your home, isn't it, Robin? You got some yes, it is. wind chimes from Bob Wines Community Gardens and Nursery. What does yep. your wind chime play? America the Beautiful. Mine plays Amazing Grace. It's so Grace. pretty. I know. Amazing <laughs> It is so great. Mine They're plays. so beautiful. Yeah, Thank you so much. It's amazing. When the wind blows, you hear a song and you go, hey. <laughs> hey, I know that. I know that song. They're so beautiful the only, too. They're see, just in your gorgeous. neighborhood, though, people just stop and salute. In my neighborhood, <laughs> they look around. They look for the angel of death. They say, "Wait a minute, <laughs> why am I hearing Amazing Grace right now?" <laughs> Lori Williams is on the phone from Bob Wines Community Gardens and Nursery. Good morning, Lori. Good morning. How are you? I'm pretty good. Yeah, my neighborhood. When people walk past my house, they go, "Uh oh." That this sounds like <laughs> this sounds like the angels are coming for me. <laughs> they hear the birds and they think the angels are coming, right? <laughs> do, do, and you know, oh, I have something else to tell you from my yard. I don't want to say from uh -huh. my garden because I don't really have a garden. But you, did I ever tell you I have bananas? Right? I told you this. Yes. Yes. Uh huh. Well, now, well, it's gone now. But Robin took the bananas and made banana bread out of them. Oh, I bet you it was delicious. It was. She put real butter on it, and it was really good. <laughs> wow. I love butter. <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah, the butter didn't grow in the garden, but we we could have because now I have butterflies in the garden. So. Mm. <laughs> I know. There's a. I'm sure there's another plant that you do not have in your yard yet. Which, which one? Camellias. Camellias. Ah. And this time, see, camellia, and camellias bloom in the winter time when nothing else is blooming, and everybody thinks that camellias are very hard to. To plant and take care of and they're really not they're mm -hmm. easy to take care of they bloom in the winter time and right now we've got lots of them we have thousands and thousands of camellias but camellias are right now are setting buds for winter because they'll start blooming like in october and they will the camellias we have some varieties that will grow in full sun some varieties that don't like the full sun but they come in all different colors reds and pinks and whites and red and white and pink and white they actually they look like roses when they bloom they are gorgeous Robin, do you have any camellias in your yard? Uh, She's not sure. I'm not sure. I know I have those two uh, beautiful flowers. They're white and they're real tall. And then I have some purple ones that are low to the ground and some orange ones that are low to the ground. And I can't recall their names. Can you did, did, the white the white tall ones might be camellias? Do they bloom in the winter time? Do you I, know? I. I, I'm not sure. Those are the ones that I received <laughs> as a gift from you guys and from Frank. Oh, and, so they haven't even gone through the winter yet. And they and and they've got those bright flowers on them, oh, so they yeah, look those, so those, pretty. That's, that's the, I think those are the hibiscus. That's those, it. Um, that's hardy, it. hardy hibiscus. Yep, the what, hibiscus. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, and they're yeah, so once, pretty. I, once we get into October and November, when they start blooming, we'll start putting a lot of pictures on the Facebook page showing you some of the different varieties. They're just they're just they're amazing. Do the do the plants that have no flowers have a scent, or Ooh, or is there, or is there or is there no such thing as a plant with no flower? Actually, there 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 are plants that don't have flowers that have scents, like your different herbs, like rosemaries and peppermints and stuff like that. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, oh, it yeah. makes sense. Get yeah. it? <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, you can grow peppermint in your yard. Oh yeah, peppermint and spearmint. You sure can. Oh my gosh, it's like the Wrigley and, Company. And thyme, thyme, and oregano, and yes, exactly, do all you, that kind of stuff. I mean, do, do you chew the? I mean, I, this sounds crazy, but do you chew the leaves? Does it taste like the gum? It tastes like pep. Yeah. Well, I don't know if it tastes like the gum, but it, I mean, it, it has that kind of taste to it. It smells like like the gum, spearmint, and peppermint. Really? Can you make tea? Yeah, out, usually. Can you yeah, make tea out of any what leaf? People do. I don't know about any leaf, but you can make tea out of the spearmint and the peppermint. And we, there's also a camellia that you can make green tea with, or oolong tea with it, black tea. Green tea or black tea. So oh, there's a okay. certain variety of camellia that you can uh, make a tea with. Really? From the leaves of it. Yeah. It's just, yeah. You're going to sell a lot of those to the herbalists, yeah, I think. <laughs> yeah. That <laughs> yeah, sounds we sell, good. We sell a good bit of them. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so. You have and and you have really really wonderfully colored pots there, so you can buy a plant, put it in a pot, and give that as a hostess gift. Yes, yep, you sure can. Beautiful. We have and, and all of our pottery right now is on sale. We've got twenty percent off our, our pottery, and you can always come in and pick out the pot and pick out the plants that you want, and we can make the arrangement for you. Oh, isn't that wonderful? You gotta go yep. see go see Lori Williams at Bob Wines Community Gardens and Nursery. Have you had anybody come in and say, "Hey, I heard you on the radio"? 
Yes, actually, I had a lady come in with that day that we were talking about the hummingbird and butterfly plants, and we were talking about the Mexican firebush. Oh, and yes. She said, I want that plant you were talking about today on the radio. Which one? The yes, Mexican? Have people. The Mexican yeah, one? Yeah, the Mex Mexican firebush, yes. I just love that name, yeah. Mexican firebush. Yeah. <laughs> it's exciting. It's just a great name. <laughs> wow. Uh, and so, and so uh, if I want to get a camellia, what would I do? I mean, would I just pl pl dig a hole and plant it? When you plant a camellia, you got to have some potting soil. We sell the potting soil for it because it likes an acid soil. Okay. But when you plant the camellias, you don't plant them level with the ground. You plant them higher also. And so we make sure every tell everybody. And we give a little information sheet out, too. So they know that when you plant camellias, you don't plant them level with the ground. You plant them a little higher. And then there's a special fertilizer that we use for them. The same thing you use like on azaleas, you use on camellias, and we sell that also. So. And those information sheets are really helpful because in all the plants, even though I couldn't remember the names of them that I received, there were six of them, uh, you had those little uh, information sheets with them, plastic, so I could keep them by each plant, and it right. had very vivid instructions on those. Yes, yes. And then we also have a sheet that we've come out with ourselves, and it tells you when to fertilize them, you know, how to water them. It's just very, very informative. Um, go to Bob Wines Community Gardens and Nursery. Get the plants that Lori's talking about, and also get these things. Listen, these, this is the, this is from your video. <laughs> <laughs> this is all of the wind chimes together. Yes. Oh my gosh, that sounds like magic Isn't that is amazing? going. It sounds like yeah. magic is getting ready to happen. <laughs> yes. Is there a fan blowing them, or are you just, are you just what? Is it very windy over there? I'm sitting outside, and it must be a blower or something. Someone's blowing off somewhere probably what you're hearing <laughs> okay. yeah I, I, that'd be a great t-shirt wouldn't it be this somebody blowing somewhere okay uh, look, look at this one look at this one oh, this is a, a gentle one. Oh, i like that oh, that's tinkerbell yeah oh Isn't somebody somebody definitely thinks a, a wish is coming true with that one when, when they pass <laughs> and none of them sound tinny that's what's beautiful about these wind yeah, chimes they're so exactly. elegant sounding yes Oh, that's isn't amazing, that amazing grace. That's amazing yep, grace, isn't yep, it? That's it sure yours. Is. Yeah. Your wind. Yeah. You have to really have it a little bit of an imagination because it doesn't do it in the right order. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. So we're working on it. <laughs> but sometimes it does. Some, sometimes it does. But sometimes it does. Exactly. I guess if the, I guess if the wind is just right. <laughs> <laughs> the music teacher would be very impressed, I think. Um, that's, right, that's right. Oh, my gosh. Where, where are you? Where is uh, Bob Wines? We're at 2610 Southeast 38th Street, right here in Ocala, off of Lakeway Avenue and 17th Street. And our phone number is 352-629-5766. And we're here Monday through Friday, 9 to 4, and Saturday, 9 to 2. And I would like to recommend that people go to your website and to your Facebook page. Your Facebook page is awesome because you have all kinds of yes. cool stuff on there uh, that people can look at and listen to, like I was just doing with the... Uh, with the wind chimes, what is this? And ask questions. Oh, I think you're giving a tour here. Max, listen. Is that you? These have been overwatered. Okay, don't waste your money. Is that you? Is that you talking on that? I don't think that's. I don't think that's me. <laughs> these, these have been. <laughs> uh, these are pretty flowers. <laughs> I'll plead. I'll plead the fifth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All I see is a hand. All I see is a hand touching yeah. the flower. Exactly. That's not your hand. You don't have a gold bracelet. A gold bracelet. No. Nope. Do you have pointy fingernails? No, you don't. <laughs> yes. No, no, no pointy fingernails. <laughs> I, have no, I have no fingernails. <laughs> uh, Lori, thank you for doing this. It's always fun having you on the air with us. And go see Appreciate Lori. It. Thank you, guys. Go see Lori. Tell you heard her on the radio and uh, and, get, and get a wind chime and get a flower and a plant. And, and, uh, and, and thank you for all the great stuff you sent us. But please, everybody... I want to buy my own next time. Don't send me anything. <laughs> Every, I love you all, but don't send anything. Uh, all right, Laurie, thank you. We'll take a little break. We'll be right back.